The bad thing was that we had to wake up at six o'clock in the morning and uh, the time that we got home was really late, like at 10. I mean, on the way there, we got to see like different places like the countryside and uh, London, some of the buildings, because, and the buildings are really old. We also got to see the Buckingham Palace and, uh, well, it was huge. And we also saw the guards changing, which, which is different. We are part of the PVP, which is a short end for People's Voice Parliament. And the People's Voice Parliament is a little group we have organised in the school. And it basically um, listens to every student's voice uh, and their problems and we try and solve them in an efficient way. We separated ourselves into groups so we could work efficiently in our groups and solve the problem really quickly. Today we've come to the House of Parliament to see um, the small debates about bre uh, Brexit and many other debates and we've just come to look around and the way it's functioned and all the rules and everything just so we can improve the service of our people as Parliament at school. Well the Parliament building itself was really old because it's like it was marble on the floor, it's like really old, the roof is really high. There were loads of statues, loads of paintings and a lot of gold. I was quite shocked at the amount of people who were protesting about Brexit because I didn't think there would be that many. I knew that Brexit was a really big issue but I didn't think that people would actually come out and protest about it. On the right side there were lots of people screaming Remain and on the left side uh, the Brexiteers were like no we need to leave the EU. At the end of the day we have freedom of speech in this country so I agree with like people being allowed to say whatever they want to say. When we went to the House of Commons, all of the people were like really young, like the MPs were a lot younger than what I thought they would be. But I was quite shocked because most of them were just sat there on their phone, unlike in the House of Lords, where um, most of the people were really, really old. They were asleep, most of them. They looked really tired and I'm surprised people like this are making decisions for our country. Towards the end of the day, we all went to um, a building in the House of Parliament where we were assigned a mentor and he split us all into different political parties and um, we had to pick three things that we were really passionate about and then stand in front of everybody and um, talk on, and debate about why we deserve the funding. He split the children into different political parties where we got to discuss things that we were passionate about and um, why we deserve funding and it was really interesting to see um, everybody play devil's advocates and you know push opinions maybe that they weren't sure about but it was really interesting. The main thing that concerns me and that I wanted to talk about was Graham Stringer because we he was he represents us as our constituents, our MP represents us. So we asked him a few questions to uh, let us know how we resolve our problems, how we uh, what future hardcomings we're gonna come across and uh, how we are marching forward as a country and a constituency.